but it's Wednesday, which means it's time to have a look at what women in the media have been saying about women's lives in our feature, It's a Woman's World. <laughs> First up, during a press conference in Beverly Hills to promote her latest film, Valentine's Day, Julia Roberts turned agony aunt when a fan asked her how she could improve her relationship. Julia replied, make a nice dinner reservation, have a nice glass of wine, then take your top off. I think it's a recipe for success. <laughs> when you get home, she added. Yeah. <laughs> so what does, does your idea of the perfect romantic night have to end with your kit off, Jane? Well, you see, I, is it just me or I? I, <laughs> I yeah, it's me, isn't it? It's just me. <laughs> no, um, I think if you go out for a meal and have a bottle of wine, the last thing I want to do is jigs because I'm I'm Jeez. I'm full up, I'm, I'm bloated, <laughs> and I want to go to sleep. I want to go to sleep if I've had a big meal, and it's what if really you have uncomfortable. What a smaller meal and more wine? Uh, well. Well, if you're having a bag of crisps, it might be a bit better, you know. <laughs> but then you'll think he's tight because oh, he's not Jane. taking you out for a meal. I just don't see the two go together. I think, actually, the... For me, not expecting sex when you get to bed is a bit of a turn-on for me because then I think, well, I'm, I don't have to do it, but I will. Oh, but what about... <laughs> right, Ed's been away a long time. Yes. So what, when he comes back, we expect to do that well, I'll have to, because he's been away for three months. I mean, it'd be a bit daft. Oh, you don't say you have to, you see. Now, no, that's not well, romantic, no, I'd, Jane, I'd, at I all. I think I'd want to, but I'd have my pie after. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you have... That's what I'm saying. Last time he came back... <laughs> last time he came back, he'd only been in the door five minutes and he had me, you know, <gasps> up the stairs. And, and I just thought to myself, I've just got dinner on. You know, so that's what I'm saying. Did you You've, say to him, yeah, just, You've got a pie and things? Yeah, I, I did. Well, I Jane, said, Can you, you just stand exactly, on? You did what Julie Roberts said, you just did it the other way around. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. did have the pie, but after. After. So, okay. Because I had to go down and turn the oven off. Oh. <laughs> Sherry, well, what you about can you? have romantic nights without that, can't you, Jane? I think you can. I mean, if you. Like, I've never been to Venice, mm. but I'm sure if you're in St Mark's Square with a glass of wine, you, you know, the last thing you're thinking about is throwing your clothes off. You're enjoying St Mark's yeah, Square. There. He's not thinking about St Mark's Square, is he? Is he I not? Don't know. What about riding in the Rockies? He's not thinking about that either. He's thinking, I wish you'd hurry up and eat that blooming thing so we can get on with it. <laughs> really? I do you think that I, happens? I do, I think, and I do agree. I think if you're going to have a romantic evening, I think... Everyone needs to know from the get-go what's on the menu, and we're not talking about dinner. Hmm. I think I, th I think it's it's an unsuccessful romantic experience if there's no bouncy at the end of it. Do you think so? I do. I do, and I think men have that. They have to have that. I they're think murmuring, it's like, Lisa. They're murmuring. No, but it's like you give your kids cowpole, you give your men bouncy. <laughs> It keeps them healthy and happy and the relationship solid. I don't know what you mean. I think a happy mummy and daddy make a happy family. Mm -hmm. And, as, you know, it's Valentine's Day, obviously, coming up soon. And uh, Steve rang me just before we, you know, we came on the show to say, right, you know, obviously, Valentine's Day is on a Sunday. A bit more difficult to get babysitters. Stop looking at your husband in the no, audience. He's just gone bright red. <laughs> <laughs> just shaking his head. Um, so, you know, can we go out on Saturday night instead? <laughs> And I think, you know, he's gone to all that effort to book a meal. I'll go to all the effort of booking a baby. Only because he wants his afters. But that doesn't mean that but you have to pay, does hang it? Hang on a minute, you're saying he you wants paying? his... paying? No. No, oh, I don't mean but... pay with money. Oh. I mean, I think, you know, when you think... It's not paying, Ooh. Sherry, is it? Yes, not... it is, because you can't think, can you? Sherry, and a meal. Yes, oh, dear, I'll have to do that at the end of the night. Oh, I don't really want to, really. Can, <laughs> so, hold on. That, can I just say, who says I don't want to at exactly, the end of the night? I'd be quite looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh! We're married and everything. Oh, God. <laughs> it's yes, legal. Yes, legal. Oh, just have a pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, next. Queen of chat, Oprah Winfrey, has been an inspiration herself. Writing in her new book, Living Oprah, Robin Ockrent said she lives by Oprah's recommendation to make sure that you express your appreciation to your partner five times a day. <laughs> yes. She doesn't say how. <laughs> so do you think that's a good idea? Um... Five times... Five everything's times five. You've got to have your five a day of everything now, haven't you? <laughs> um, I try to remember to say thank you to Paul when he does something nice, which he does a lot of. Oh. Oh. And it's not just because he's here. Um, but I think it would be really annoying. 
What, to just keep saying thank you? Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank, you. Th thank you for being you. Thank you for having your colour hair. Thank you for being my father of my child. Five times a day is a lot, yeah, I think. Yeah. No, 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 I think because, no, if... if if you want help, if they help you, genuinely help you, and I've had different partners along the way, and I've actually got a partner now who's very helpful, mm -hmm. and I am so grateful because he does empty the dishwasher, he does make the bed, he does put the towels back where I want them, and I'm saying, wow, thanks a lot. You don't have to because thank him for making the bed, Jane. Yes, I think it, I think it is nice when you you acknowledge that somebody's done something yeah. for but, you. But why can't you just make the bed? Why do you have to go thank you? No, because <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> because well, I've had to get out of it to turn the pie down, haven't I? <laughs> I just think it's nice when you help each other because yeah. he'll say to me, thanks for sorting my suit out, thanks for doing five it. Five times a day. Oh, yeah. more. Oh, more. Jane. What more. five things does he do for you in any one day? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's been that long ago now, I can't remember. <laughs> do you know, I'm sure you'll be able to thank him more than five times when he gets back. I think I will. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, I mean, I must admit, Steve's pretty good and I do try and say thank you, but... I think I'm a bit like you, really. I'm a bit, I'm a bit rubbish, a bit distracted, and yeah. I suppose I do take a little bit for granted. So I think I should maybe try harder. Should try harder yes. would be my school report. Note to self. Yeah, note to self. Must try. Be harder. nicer. Be yeah. yes, generally. I just have to nicer. say, Ken never did anything, so I never exactly. had anything to thank him for. <laughs> That's it. It's true. A lovely Keely. My key there. Yes. Yes. You see, hundred times a day. There yeah. you go. Finally, our Scylla. Mm -hmm. That's Scylla Black has been spending lots of time in Barbados and was recently at a polo match in which Prince Harry was playing. And it seems the players made a good impression on Scylla as she was overheard saying, some people like men in uniform. I like polo players. But when it comes to men, uh, what look does it for you, Sherry Houston? Well, actually, those polo players, that is a kind of uniform. Because they have really, those yeah. big leather boots chained up the Ooh, thighs. Really? Very nice white tight trousers. Oh, nice. Oh, yes, I've seen... <laughs> oh, yes, oh... <laughs> um, no, I like a naval person. So not a naval. So not, not a naval. <laughs> a naval officer with their, uh, you know, doodars. So you like a man in uniform? Look, they oh, are. Hey, yeah. yes. I like that, and I like... Um, I does like it have a, to be Richard Gere, or does it? Is anyone? Uh, well, actually, Richard Gere's quite sweet, isn't he? Mm. And I liked, you know, the American GIs, when mm. you see those films in their khaki and all that, with a leather belt, I mean, oh. till I think... You are, right? And, yeah. and I like all that. Um, I like... I do like um, uniforms. RAF. Oh, yeah. I like a bit of blue. You do, don't oh, you? Oh, yes, no, I like a bit. I think, Lovely but you know what? Man. <laughs> no, <laughs> but you know what? A man in a black tie, evening dress. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I, I did go for a man in uniform, he said. I ended up did marrying him, but it's a bit of a shock when he turns up and he's sitting, he's got his flip flops and his shorts on. Oh. <laughs> you know, that's, that's a bit of a come down. Has the charisma gone then? Yeah, it oh. all goes with the uniform sometimes. I mean, you're lucky if you get somebody who looks good in both, but yeah. don't fall for the uniform, really? just... Because it just what? lies on the bed without a body. That's no. it. Oh. <laughs> I like a man in a suit. Yeah. I quite like men in suits, because I think they're flattering to most bodies, mm. and then you know they've got a job if they've got a suit. <laughs> <laughs> or they're going to court, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm going for one. What kind of look do you go for? I like a suit. I think yeah. I, I do like yeah. a, a man in a suit. Yeah. You know. See, I'm the odd one out here. I like a, a nice clean T-shirt, nice pair of jeans, nice pair of boots and smelling all lemony. Lemony? Yeah. Yeah. Which, what, all, oh. all, just smelling all, like they've just got out of the shower. Little bit of lemony aftershave, all clean smelling. Big old belly in a T-shirt. Well, I never no. really think about the belly side of things, no. but just that's the look that I like. Yeah. Quite casual, casual, jeans and a T-shirt What is it clean. We, we're clean, we're you. you uh, yeah, you're, you're a bit yeah. dirty, do you? No, well... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> Not that type of dirty. As long as there's a dinner in it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're taking one. I'm just so glad my parents are leaving. They're, they're, they've been staying with me for a month. Thank God they're going back home. They live abroad. They won't see this anymore. Oh. I can be open once again. Uh, <laughs> take, woo -hoo. Uh, oh, no, not like that. Uh, we're what? taking one. Oh, I didn't mean that because they're living with us. <laughs> oh, too late. Oh, dear. Anyway. Taking one last breather, but don't go anywhere because after the break, we'll be...